This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. This land is our land, and the natural resources on the areas are worth protecting for everyone. Activists gathered to protest a possible bill from Senator Dean Heller, how it might affect wilderness study areas in our area. It tops Channel 2 News at 5.30. I'm Christian Remington. Thanks for being with us. Landon is off this week. Critics say this bill would remove federal protection for Nevada's wilderness study areas. Senator Heller says increasing access to these lands would allow more public use for them. Elizabeth Olvetta spoke with both sides of this issue today. Liz, first, what exactly is a wilderness study area anyway? Well, Kristen, there's some specific criteria for a wilderness study area. It must be at least 5,000 acres of untouched nature. It also needs to have historical or educational value, and the BLM lists 62 of those areas right here in Nevada. And if we don't like something, then we can we can call them out on that. Community activists and conservationists voiced their concerns about a possible bill proposal from Senator Dean Heller. It could remove BLM protections from several wilderness study areas. We have enough land that we don't have to tap in to those properties that the BLM uh, manages. If a wilderness study area is designated, then that means that it's completely like pristine, not affected by people and I wanted to stay that way. But Senator Heller says these areas are a common issue he hears about traveling through rural Nevada. According to a statement from his office, quote, although not designated by Congress as wilderness, these areas are treated as such by our federal land management agencies, essentially locking up 2.5 million acres of public lands, end quote. But opponents of the proposal disagree. Are we ready to take a stand and get ready to change this? Yeah. They worry about the possible outcomes if that protection is removed. That mining companies, extraction companies, logging companies would be able to come in and destroy what was once protected. The inhabitants of that wildlife, which is our antelopes, our wild horses, our fish. But according to the senator's office, quote, the BLM has found that a majority of these lands do not even meet the criteria for wilderness, end quote. Although it's unclear exactly which areas that statement refers to, the statement continues, quote, Quote, Senator Heller has been working on a legislative fix to this issue on a county by county basis with the goal of increasing access to these lands by putting them back to multiple use status, which will allow communities to use these lands for activities ranging from wildfire suppression efforts to riding a bike on a county by county basis, end quote. Although the legislation has not yet been officially introduced, this young conservationist asked the senator to reconsider. He should go out into the wilderness study areas and just see how beautiful nature is and why nature should be protected. Now, the senator was unavailable for an interview today, but his office says five Nevada counties support the legislation. They say the bill has not yet been introduced because Senator Heller wants to make sure all interested local governments have been consulted first. Meanwhile, opponents say the economic and recreational implications could hurt the state. Covering the big story live in the newsroom, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News.